Well, good Wednesday afternoon, everybody. Checking out the weather scene. We start uh, down south, well south, down towards Brazil, where we had some snow. This is for you video footage uh, from late last week, about a week ago, where we had a snowstorm in uh, parts of Brazil, parts of South America, towards the Antarctic. Of course, this is their winter. It's not completely unusual for to snow in Brazil, but it is unusual to get this snowfall down towards the surface. So these uh, locals were... Uh, enjoying something they don't see very often with, again, uh, several inches of snowfall in parts of Brazil. No snow to talk about here locally, thankfully, but we do have some heavy rains lurking just offshore. They're starting to make their way now uh, closer towards Bridgewater. Warmer weather will be returning later this week. And speaking of warmth, the dog days of August appear to be on their way here for early next week with uh, building heat and humidity. It is 69 degrees outside the VT Studios right now. Just started some light rainfall outside. That is a sign of things to come. Temperatures generally are in the low 70s, but 60s showing up now across a lot of southeastern Massachusetts and Cape and Islands. This is in rain-cooled air. It's been raining most of the day down the Cape. That's great news, especially for the mid and upper Cape, uh, which is in a drought, believe it or not. We've had a lot of rain around here locally this summer, but not so much down there, so they can really use any of the rainfall they can get. And there's a good slug of it now moving up towards southeastern Massachusetts in the Cape and Islands and will be with us for most of the night tonight. That's why we do have a flash flood watch in effect. It includes pretty much uh, most of eastern Mass, all of Rhode Island, parts of eastern Connecticut. The one exception is the Cape and Islands, not because it's not going to rain down there, but because it's been so dry down there, the ground can certainly hold a lot more moisture than it can in our neck of the woods. We have two areas of low pressure, one that's moving through right now, Another one that will move through overnight tonight and into uh, early tomorrow morning. Both of those lows bringing us some rainfall. Obviously, the Billy Joel concert is going to have a little bit of rain tonight. It won't rain the whole time, but you'll definitely need some ponchos. Hello, Mega Tour tomorrow looks pretty good. Spot shower, perhaps, right at the beginning. Uh, temperatures in the mid-60s. New kids on Friday look good. Mid-70s and dry. And Zach Brown on Sunday. There's a slight chance of an isolated shower or thunderstorm. But no big deal. will be in the mid-70s by Sunday evening. So here overnight tonight, rain showers, of course. So steady rain as well. Lows generally in the low 60s. That rain will continue at least through the early morning hours on Thursday. Then we clear out Friday. Pretty nice day. There's a slight chance of a shower or thunderstorm Saturday or Sunday. Better chance on Sunday, but no big deal either day. Certainly no washouts. And the heat and humidity builds for early next week.